All right, still in uh, my tracks, in the my track screen, another um, interesting feature that has been requested also is the ability to differentiate the tracks depending on their status. I was talking previously about the three types of songs that we have available into Jamzone, the pending, the restricted, and the full tracks. So it is now possible to rapidly uh, filter through your um, purchases to see which ones uh, belong to which type. So here, this is being done with those two buttons just below the My Tracks title. As a reminder, if you didn't know already, this cloud icon is just a shortcut to download all the songs that are available uh, or purchased by your account quickly. So just below that, you will find a chords and lyrics button and an audio only button. I have those two highlighted right now, meaning that I'm displaying all the track types uh, in my library. This is my entire song list that you see right now. If I only want to display the ones that have audio only, meaning that are pending titles or limited titles, I simply unselect this, keep selected audio only, and you will see all those songs here that still have in my tracks that exclamation mark as warning, all these songs are pending titles or limited titles. If I would want to do it the other way around, if I unselect both, of course, there is no matching results because I'm asking to display nothing. But if I want to see all the tracks that I own that do have chords and lyrics available, I click on that button and it will display me the tracks accordingly. As simple as that. So we hope that it will help you navigate more easily and also uh, identify which songs you have purchased as pending titles that have now moved to uh, full titles so that you know uh, when a song is ready. And when we do that, when we add the chords and lyrics to a song, you will see an update button. I don't think this is the case for this song here of Guns N' Roses, but uh, anytime we make a change on the audio tracks, we make an improvement of the audio, we uh, correct a chord that was not identified properly, we correct the spelling mistakes uh, in the lyrics. Every time we do that, it will um, let your device know and let you decide to keep the previous version of the song or to update it with our mo more recent um, metadata or audio update for this song. Let's now dive into that same action menu, uh, but this time from the set list. Uh, as I was telling to you before, we've added that anywhere we could to simplify your browsing and just give you quick actions. So I'm going to get into that uh, set list, which is called App Live Demo, just to show you what you can do with um, this action menu. So it still exists on the track here. So same as before, info panel, play the song straight away, remove the download to save storage, add to set list if you want to place that song in another set list, remove that song from this set list and view the artist song. And this menu is also available at the set list level. So you click on that here, the three dots next to the title. You also have a play button which will start the playback of the first song in the list, download all, so this won't work now. Um, uh, I'm going to just show you here by removing each download. And so if my set list is ready, I'm on a new device, or I wanted to save space, so, and I want to download them all, I simply click this, and you will see in the background, without having to open the player, it will start saving your tracks locally for offline use. Add songs, so this was existing already, it moved a bit, uh, but if you click this button, it will open a panel with your entire library. You still have the search function in here, so I already have this track, of course, um, but you can search for anything, ain't no fun, for example. Selecting that one, click add, and it will add this song to your set list. Gonna remove it. And finally, um, it was existing before, but not so practical. So we compiled all the addition features into that edit set list button from the uh, quick action menu. And when you click on that edit button, you are now able to edit the title here. So you can change the text. You can also add emojis if you want, that works. You click OK, and it will save the set list with my new title. Other functions available in uh, edit is 
changing the track position here uh, using this handle or removing the song by clicking on that um, red button and deleting the song here, there. But for moving the tracks, I think this is much more convenient. You can also simply grab, click to grab, drag and drop to reorder the songs in your set list. So there are currently two ways of uh, changing the order in the song. And finally, I'm not going to finalize it here, but you can simply delete an entire set list by clicking menu, delete set list. Of course, it will ask you to confirm because this is a big step. You won't be able to recover it, so pay attention to that. If you click delete, it will simply remove the entire set list uh, from your library. You will keep the songs, obviously. You have purchased them, they are owned, they will remain in the My Track screen, but this folder, the set list folder, will disappear from your set list um, list here. So this is it for um, what you can do with that new action menu um, on the set list.